Hello, I'm Kim Tizer. Today is September 15th, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A U.S. Senator is blasting the Biden administration for letting Afghan sex abusers into the country while grilling Secretary of State Anthony Blinken yesterday. Ted Cruz exposed the admin for ignoring requests to deal with Muslim child brides at refugee intake centers. Did you receive that urgent guidance? How many children have been subject to sexual abuse? What have you done to rescue young children from illegal and abusive relationships after being brought to America by the State Department? Blinken claims he was unaware of any guidance being received on how to deal with the sex abuse. In a Kentucky diocese, unvaxxed priests can no longer minister to the sick or elderly. The orders came directly from homo-friendly Bishop John Stowe of Lexington, announced during a vigil mass over the weekend at the Cathedral of Christ the King. The diocese's rules remain unclear on whether priests will be forced to disclose their vaccination status to the public. Some diocesan employees are already required to get the jab. And in California, prelates are battling with government officials to stop slandering St. Junipero Serra. Over the weekend, LA's Archbishop and San Francisco's Archbishop condemned the vast, mis vast misinformation on the legacy of the 18th century missionary, saying, quote, he defended indigenous people's humanity, decried the abuse of indigenous women, and argued against imposing the death penalty on natives who had burned down a mission and murdered one of his friends. In Europe, Pope Francis appears to be rejecting the pleas of Christian populists. In Slovakia yesterday, Pope Francis denounced those who allegedly reduced the cross to a political symbol, arguing it is solely an object of devotion. This comes days after he met with Hungarian leader Viktor Orban, who asked the pontiff not to let Christian Hungary perish. Critics view the Pope's words as a rebuke of Orban's request. And staying in Slovakia, Pope Francis is again blasting so-called rigidity among Catholics. Speaking Monday in the capital of Bratislava, the pontiff claimed young people are turned off from religion when it, quote, leaves them no interior freedom. Spiritual rigidity has been a frequent talking point for Pope Francis. In Monday's speech, he stressed three words of advice for Slovak Catholics, freedom, creativity, and dialogue. Wrapping up now in South America, a bishop is calling for action against a Marxist insurrection. In Paraguay last week, Bishop Gabriel Escobar called on the government to do more to fight a communist armed gang that calls itself the Paraguayan People's Army. The bishop's remarks came one year after the guerrilla group kidnapped Oscar Dennis Sanchez, a former vice president who remains missing to this day. I'm Kim Tizer. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael discusses medical misinformation from COVID-crazed experts. God bless you.